Hello students, we are doing chapter number 16, Mensuration, exercise 16.2. In today's video, we will start from question number 44A part. Given figure shows the cross section of the concrete structure with the measurement as given. Calculate the area of the cross section. So, this figure is given in the question. This figure will divide into two parts. This first part will become a rectangle and second part will become a trapezium. So, first part measurement will be 2.4 into 0.3. For this second figure trapezium, parallel sides are this 1.5 and 0.6 and the distance between them is 1.2 plus 2.4. So, we will find out their area separately and then we will add. So, area of figure 1 is length into breadth. 2.4 into 0.3 so it will become 7.2 centimeter square area of figure 2 will be half sum of parallel sides into height parallel sides are this total is given 1.8 so, from 1.8, 0 0.3 will remove. So, 1.5 will be remaining. One side will be 1.5. Another is given 0 0.6. And the distance between them is 1.2 plus 2.4. So, half into 2.1 into 3.2. 6 we can cancel out 1.8 times it will cancel out and after multiplication we will get 3.78 uh, this will we will get 0 0.72 not 7.2 so now the total area will be the sum of these two area therefore total area will be 0 0.72 plus 3.78 and after addition we will get 4.5 centimeter square next we have 44 b part the given figure shows a field with the measurement in meters find the area of the field so this field we will divide into four parts one will be this triangle that another triangle this trapezium and this one more triangle so separately we will find out their area and then we will add first area of triangle ade so a half base into height formula we can use half base into height base is a to d so a to x it is 12 x to z it is 15 and z to d it is 10 so total base will be 12 plus 15 plus 10 and height for this triangle is 20 12 plus 15 27 plus 10 37 and 37 into 10 370 meter square all the measurement are given in meter area of triangle ABX half base into height base is 30 and height is 12 area will be 180 meter square for this trapezium half sum of parallel side 30 and 25 are the parallel side and distance between them is given 15 half 55 into 15 after multiplication we will get 825 upon 2 or 412.5 meter square for this last triangle half base into height base is 25 height is 10 and we will get 125 meter square so total area will be sum of all these areas 370 plus 180 plus 412.5 and plus 125 after adding all we will get 1087.5 meter square next we have question number 44 c part Calculate the area of pentagon A, B, C, D, E shown in the given figure. Measurements are given A, X and B, X are 6 cm. Means this is 6 and this one also 6. E, Y and C, Y are 4. This is 4 and this one also 4. D, E and C, D, C are 5. This one 5 and this one is also 5. 
dx is 9 total so here this one we can find out with the help of pythagoras theorem it is given this is perpendicular to this so first in triangle d y c by pythagoras theorem dy square plus yc square will be equal to dc square dy we have to calculate yc is given 4 and this is 5 so dy square plus 16 equal to 25 dy square will be 25 minus 16 means 9 so dy will be 3 centimeter here to here it is 3 and this total completely is 9 so y to x will be 6 so therefore y x is equal to 6 centimeter now this pentagon we can consider into two part one is this triangle dce and another one this ecba or trapezium so first area of triangle dce is equal to half base into height base is 4 plus 4 means 8 and height is 3 12 centimeter square next area of trapezium a b c e equal to half sum of parallel sides into height so parallel sides are a b and e c a b is 6 plus 6 means 12 and e c is 4 plus 4 8 height between them is 6 12 plus 8 we will get 20 and 20 into 3 60 centimeter square so therefore total area is 12 plus 60 72 centimeter square next we have question number 45 if the length and breadth of a room are increased by 1 meter the area is increased by 21 meter square if the length is increased by 1 meter and breadth is decreased by 1 meter the area is decreased by 5 meter square find the perimeter of the room so here we will take three case first case when we have taken length as l and breadth as b so in the first case let length is equal to l breadth is equal to b so area will be for a1 i am denoting it length into breadth second case when area length is increased by one and breadth is also increased by one so here length is l plus one and breadth is b plus one so the new area which i am denoting with ar2 is l plus one multiply by b plus one after multiplication we will get lb plus l plus b and plus one third case if the length is increased by one and breadth is decreased by one so in the third case length is increased by one breadth is decreased by one so now third area will be l plus one and b minus one so here we'll get lb minus l plus b and minus 1 now we will take the condition first they told when length and breadth is increased by 1 the area in increased by 21 meter square it means a2 second area minus first area is equal to 21 and second they told if the length is increased by 1 and breadth is decreased by 1 the area is decreased by 5 it means first area minus third area is equal to 5 in the first case the second area is increased by 21 it means it is greater than the first area in the second case it is decreased by 5 means this is smaller than the first one and by 5 now we will substitute here a1 a2 and a3 value first second area is lb plus l plus b plus 1 and first area is lb which is equal to 21 
एल बी विल कैंसल आउट एंड वन यू कैन शिफ्ट अन अदर साइड सो वी विल गेट एल प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी दिस इज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सब्सिट्यूट वैल्यू नाउ हेयर इन द सेकेंड वन ए वन ए इज एल बी माइनस एल बी माइनस एल प्लस बी माइनस वन इक्वल टू फाइव रिमूव ब्रैकेट चेंज द सिंबल एज आउटसाइड माइनस इज देयर सो सिंबल विल चेंज हेयर ऑल्सो एल बी विल कैंसल आउट वी हैव एल माइनस बी इक्वल टू फोर दिस इज सेकेंड इक्वेशन इफ वी एड बोथ द इक्वेशन एडिंग वन एंड टू सो एल प्लस एल विल बिकम टू एल बी माइनस बी विल कैंसल आउट ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर विल बिकम ट्वेंटी फोर सो एल वैल्यू इज कमिंग ट्वेल्व नेक्स्ट आफ्टर सब्सिट्यूटिंग एल वैल्यू इन एनी वन इक्वेशन वी विल गेट पी वैल्यू एल प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सो वेन विल सब्सिट्यूट एल इज ट्वेल्व देन बी इज कमिंग एट सो नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द पेरीमीटर फॉर दिस रेक्टेंगल सो देर फोर पेरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू टू एल प्लस बी टू ट्वेल्व प्लस एट एंड टू इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर्टी मीटर नेक्स्ट वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स अ ट्राइंगल एंड अ पैरलोग्राम हैव सेम बेस एंड सेम एरिया इफ द साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल आर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट एंड थर्टी सेंटीमीटर एंड द पैरलोग्राम स्टैंड ऑन द बेस ट्वेंटी एट सेंटीमीटर फाइन द हाइट ऑफ द पैरलोग्राम सो फर्स्ट हियर वी विल फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल विद द हेल्प ऑफ गिवन साइड देन वी विल डू द कैलकुलेशन फॉर पैरलोग्राम सो ट्राइंगल थ्री साइड्स आर गिवन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट एंड थर्टी we will use your heron's formula first we will calculate s s is 26 plus 28 plus 30 upon 2 84 upon 2 equal to 42 cm so area of triangle is equal to root of s s minus a s minus b and s minus c substitute the values here 42 42 minus 26, 42 minus 28, 42 minus 30. So we are getting 42, 16, 14 and 12. 42 we can write 7 into 6. 16 we can write 4 into 4. 14 we can write 7 into 2 and 12 we can write 2 into 6 so we are having here group 6 with 6 7 with 7 these two 4 and these two 2 so 1 7 will come out 1 6 will 1 4 and 1 2 after multiplication we will get 3 3 6 cm square now area of parallelogram is also same equal to triangle area area of parallelogram means base into height base is given 28 and height we have to calculate so height is equal to 336 divided by 28 after division we will get 12 cm next we have question number 47 A rectangle of area one zero five centimeter square has its length equal to x centimeter. Write down the breadth in term of x. Given that its perimeter is forty four, write down an equation in in x and solve it to determine the dimensions of rectangle. So first of all, they have given area of rectangle. So we will start with this. Length is given as x. So area of rectangle is equal to One zero five centimeter square rectangle means length into breadth, which is equal to hundred and five. Length is given x and breadth we have to calculate in the term of 
x so breadth will be 105 upon x centimeter now perimeter is given 44 we have to use this b here to calculate the b perimeter means 2 l plus b is equal to 44 2 length is x and breadth is 105 by x is equal to 44 take lcm here so 2 x square plus 105 upon x is equal to 44 x you can shift another side even 2 also so x square plus 105 equal to 44 x by 2 shift everything one side x square minus 22 x plus 105 equal to 0 now we have to factorize this equation we have to do the factor of 105 such that after addition minus 22 should come so here factors will be 15 and 17 15 x minus 7 x plus 105 equal to 0 so x we can take out common and here minus 7 we can take out common so we have two factors one is x minus 15 and another is x minus 7 so two conditions are there first when x minus 15 is 0 so x value we will get 15 therefore length is 15 and breadth will be 105 by 15 means 7 second case when x minus 7 is 0 in that case x value will be 7 it means length is 7 and breadth will be 105 upon 7 means 15 so these values we will get here unit is centimeter next question number 48 the perimeter of a rectangular plot is 180 meter and its area is 1800 meter square take length as x use the perimeter 180 meter to write the value of the breadth in term of x use the value of length breadth and area to write an equation solve the equation to calculate the length and breadth of the plot so here we have to start with the perimeter so we will take perimeter is equal to 180 meter perimeter means two length plus breadth is equal to 180 or we can write length plus breadth is equal to 180 by 2 means 90 they told here length we have to take as x so in place of length we'll keep x and breadth we have to find out in term of x so b is equal to 90 minus x now this value we have to use in area area is equal to 1800 meter square area means length into breadth equal to 1800 length is x and breadth is 90 minus x equal to 1800 multiply 90 x minus x square equal to 1800 shift everything one side x square minus 90 x plus 1800 equal to 0 so do the factor factors will be 60 and 30 take x as common x minus 60 and here 30 as common x minus 60 so two factors we are getting one is x minus 60 another is x minus 30 again here two values we will get first when x minus 60 is 0 in that case x value will be 60 it means length is 60 meter and breadth will be 90 minus 60 means 30 meter second case when x minus 30 is equal to 0 then x value will be 30 so length will be 30 meter and breadth will be 90 minus 30 60 meter so this exercise has completed hope you understood all these questions thank you for watching this video